the second video on get aggressive and move forward. If somebody says to you, it's not about getting aggressive or working hard, it's about working smart. I can work smart one day. Well, if it's about working smart one day, why don't you work smart seven days or 12 days and get things done quicker and better? So it's not about working smart. Where's that come from? There's no shortcut to success. You can't quantum leap it to success. Suddenly you just meditate and use a law of attraction without doing hard work and all of a sudden, yo, you're successful. What a load of cobblers, don't buy into that. Yes, we do use our mind and we do use law of attraction, but we're working hard at the same time. We use all the tools and we use everything to get to what we want. And if we believe in yourself and we believe in the law of attraction, but we don't just sit there meditating, visualizing what we want and not doing anything and expecting someone to bring success to you. When success is down to you, if you want to be successful in life, it's not to do with the universe or anyone else. It's up to you. I wrote a book. Uh, I've got a small book, what I wrote many, many years ago. And it's this book, as you can see, by Peter Corrigan. Eds or Tales. What everyone ought to know about how to win at all cost. It's a small book I wrote. It, it, it'll only take you less than 45 minutes to read this small motivational book. And it's like having a coach inside your pocket. You can even actually fit this book into your pocket. And the reason why I wrote this book is because... I saw so many people, especially in sports, at sports days and in the Olympic Games or sports, especially the mindset of the British athletes. I'm not talking about Russia or China or America. I'm talking about Britain. We don't win the Olympic Games. Oh, we were, we had Olympic Games and we, had, we came about for, and everyone was thinking we did well. No, we never become Olympians. You only become Olympian when you've got that gold medal round your neck and you're number one. You're on that roster, number one. Not second or third. Coming second is the first loser. You've not won. You shouldn't even get a medal. Olympic Games should only be won. There only should be one medal and that is gold. Not rewarding you for coming second and third. Getting silver or bronze. And calling yourself an Olympia because you're not. You lost. It's about competition. Coming second and third. You've lost the game. You've lost the game. It's like chess. You've lost. If it's checkmate, you've lost. So don't buy into the mindset. Oh, yeah, but it's all about taking part. It's not about being competitive. It's not about winning. Bullshit. In sport, it's about winning and only winning. Coming number one. No one remembers anyone who comes second. Nobody remembers anyone who comes second. They always remember the winner, the one what comes first. So use your aggression. Use that energy to move your forward. A lot of my best accomplishments in life I find 
is when I've lost or when I get mad or something happens or a disappointment or I fail at something. That's my best accomplishment because when I lose and when I fail, I get mad and I get aggressive and I use that channel and say to myself, I am not a loser, I'm not a quitter and I'm going to do that again and this time I'm going to win and I'm going to be successful and I'm going to work hard and really work and train and work hard to accomplish that result and get that result. It's about getting your results what you want. And to get there, you've got to work hard. You've got to work harder than everyone. You really have. You've got to put the effort and the work into it. It's all about that. And you can use that mad, getting mad and getting aggression in you to succeed. If you want to be um, happy all the time, um, then you're not going to use aggression. Sometimes it's about feeling the sadness and then getting mad about it. Don't feel that sadness all the time. Even if you're happy, jolly happy, you're not going to accomplish much being happy all the time. No. And remember, it's not about taking part in life. Oh, I'll just take part in life and I'll be meaty ochre i'll be under the radar i don't want to be noticed i want to be invisible well if that's the case then good luck to you you'll never do anything stay in your little hole stay in your little comfort zone and um, not go anywhere but if you really do want to be something and you set your mind to you get out there you get out of that comfort zone and you show the world and make a mark on this world and be aggressive about it. You know, be really aggressive about it and be strong and be focused. When I say aggressive, I mean be aggressive in your mindset. Be mad about it. As I said in the story once in my videos, I um, found myself in a place where I had no money, no money whatsoever. I had three children under five year old and a wife and I found that we had no money for our tea. I had to feed the kids and we had nothing in. We were literally had no food in the cupboard and I looked and I counted my change and I said to the wife, we'll go and get some bread and have some toast. We thought I had a tub of butter, but I counted the change and I did not have enough money to even get a loaf of bread. So I got mad. And I said, this ain't going to happen to me ever again. I'm not going to be in this position. I looked at my life and I thought, how am I in this position? I'm working for a living. Eight hours a day, I worked as a school caretaker them days. Working hard, getting up at five o'clock in the morning, opening the school and working very hard. And I still had no money. And I found myself in that position and I said, there must be something else. I'm doing something wrong. And I got mad. And I started studying winners and studying people. How do they become successful? That only human beings like me, how did they become successful? And I found a different way. And the different ways that I wanted to work for myself. I wanted to um, be an entrepreneur. I want to be rich. I want to have money. I do want the things and I'm working hard at that. And I'll get them. And I believe in myself. But it's we're working hard. And not giving up. And not cowering in a corner if something gets goes wrong. I always use that aggression now. And that um, energy to move myself forward. In fact... 
all the best accomplishments, what I've said, and what I've achieved is through getting mad, not staying calm and being in my comfort zone. No, it's finding myself in a position where I don't want to be. Get results. Be successful. Don't just say to yourself, it's all about taking part. It's not about winning in life. It's about winning. It's about being successful for you and your family and the people you love. Be successful for them. Be the only one in your family who becomes rich and wealthy and a millionaire. It's you. Start now. You're the only one in your family what is going to turn your family round and you're going to be the first winner and millionaire in your family. And that will set your generations after generations and it will stop your family all being poor and being, being mediocre because that carries on in generations after generations the mindset so be the first one in your family and get mad about it get aggressive want it say i'm going to i'm going to change this i'm going to change my family the next generation are all going to be successful wealthy prosperous and rich and strong and it's got to be you it's got to be someone in your family to change that and get mad about it use that energy are oh, you enjoying my videos peter corrigan the entrepreneur journey please subscribe to my videos and all the subscribers what's already subscribed and follow me thank you for your subscription but give me thumbs up give me comments and i look forward to seeing you on my journey as an entrepreneur and remember take care of each other Bye-bye.